What's the weirdest thing you've gotten in the mail? Live crickets for my bearded dragon. The package got delivered to the front desk of my apartment. The very concerned front desk attendant said, Sir, not to alarm you, but I believe someone has sent you a box of insects. I used to get those for my leopard gecko. Asked my brother to feed her one day. He forgot to close the box. Still peed about that. A number of years ago I was in my house having a few beers with a friend. We got some pizza delivered. Later we thought it would be a good idea to post a slice of pizza to another friend. Stuck that bad boy in a brown envelope, put a stamp on it, and fired it into a post box. Friend mentioned that he got a slice of pizza in the post a few days later. I acted surprised and amused. Have still never admitted it was me and that was 17 years ago. Send a slice every few weeks with a letter in more and more broken English each time and make it sound like you're losing your mind a bit more each time just to frick with him. I got a handwritten letter from my real family telling me that they gave me up for adoption when I was an infant. They went on about making the wrong decision and desperately want me back. I'm 28. I found out that my friend bought some new picture frames and decided to take the sample photos out. Happy family. And mail them to me with a letter enclosed. I had a minor heart attack for about 10 seconds. A box full of sand from the Sahara Desert. Friends visiting there sent it to me with a note saying, Use this Sahara sand at the bottom of your aquarium as a base for your tank ornaments. It's thirsty. I once came home from middle school to see a giant box from my grandpa waiting for me. Eagerly I opened it up only to find it was just filled with packing peanuts and a handful of change sprinkled in. I called him up and asked what gives old man. He replied I don't know, but it made your day, didn't it? God I miss that guy. Rest in peace grandpa. Work for a newspaper. Once wrote a column complaining how bad my favorite sports team was playing. Must have hit a nerve because a few days later a reader sent me a letter written on toilet paper telling me I was a piece of crap for bashing our city's team. I respected that. He later called and we had a good chat. It's not exactly weird, but cool and unexpected. I ordered an Xbox 360 way after it was cool to have one because I got addicted to Borderlands. The box came and was ridiculously heavy for just an Xbox console and some was. Opened the box and found a Borderlands themed Xbox with a frick ton of Borderlands gear, stickers, posters, about 7 different t-shirts, a claptrap pack of cards, strategy book, a Borderlands controller, etc. Turns out seller was moving away and when we talked about the console, I said I'm only buying it to play Borderlands, so he gifted me the stuff he won in a contest. A wonderful surprise for me. I once ordered a skirt from eBay from one of those Chinese sellers. It came in the mail shortly, then again, and again. After a month I had 5 identical skirts and they kept coming. I emailed the seller, got no response, but at some point it stopped. I think I ended up getting 8 or 9 of them in separate packages. You could wear a different skirt every day of the week but people would think you are gross for wearing the same one every day without washing it. When I was in college I was friends with the old lady who ran the front desk of my dormitory. When I went home for Christmas at the end of the term I received a lumpy brown paper wrapped package. She made a plate of brownies, stacked neatly on a normal ceramic plate, wrapped the whole thing in brown paper, put my home address on it and mailed it. They were delicious. That's adorable. Old ladies are the best. In case anyone here hasn't already, go to a park and sit down to an old lady feeding pigeons or something. Just strike up a conversation with them. They never fail to make my day. A dollar bill. I was at a roadside welcome center somewhere in the Midwest many years ago. There was a soda machine and a locked wooden box next to it that said to write a note with your address in case the machine ate your money. As a joke my friend wrote, put dollar in machine. Flames came shooting out of machine and burned my face severely, and wrote my name and address. Six months later, maybe more, I received in the mail an envelope with an official return address on it from whatever state we had been in, this was like 20 years ago or more, with a crumpled up dollar bill and a handwritten note that said, sorry about your face. That must have been mildly insulting if you didn't realize what it was for straight away. My dad got a vacuum. Had his name on the package, 
We didn't order a vacuum. Made some phone calls and checked credit cards and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Got a free vacuum. Someone went to a lot of effort and expense to tell your dad he sucks. A bag of white powder sealed in a USPS safety envelope saying that they could not confirm the contents and that the original package had been destroyed. About a week later I got a call from a friend asking if I had received the hot dog bun they had put in a standard envelope and mailed from across the country. When I was about 20, I got a package in the mail. It was addressed to me in Seattle with no return address and a postmark from Plano, Texas, in the box. Wrapped in a circular from a grocery store, presumably local to Texas, was a cheap plastic magnifying glass and one of those plastic pipes you blow bubbles with, nothing else. I always assumed the pipe and magnifying glass were supposed to signify Sherlock Holmes and perhaps a mystery to be solved. I scoured the box and contents for additional clues but to no avail. This was nearly 20 years ago. No other packages or clues ever arrived. It's been a mystery ever since and I have never and will never forget about it. I ordered American History X on DVD and got a Shaggy's Greatest Hit CD instead. I wasn't even mad. I guess normally it wouldn't be super weird but when I was in Iraq my mom sent me a cur package with gummy sharks in it. Just your everyday two color gummy. The top half was that normal gummy consistency and blue. The bottom half was that foamy type gummy in white. Turns out, when you mail meltable things to a dessert they tend to melt. Especially if it has to go through the military's and country mail sorting process where everything needs to sit in a steel box for a week just to make sure everything that can melt does. When I got the gummies they had melted into a single gummy and apparently had been a liquid for long enough that the relative densities of the two gummy types caused them to separate back out into a single slab of gummy with one white side and one blue side. I got the letter that said from your secret admirer. It was a sheet of paper with the word ouch bag colored on it. It was a nice drawing. Someone sent me a bible and tons of buddhist books. AARP sends me stuff on a regular basis. I'm 25. They want me to register but I am a bit too young. Also on an unrelated note if you email companies and say you love their product they will send you free food. I have received so much free peanut butter this way. No age restrictions on joining and you get to pee off hotel managers or other service industry staff who offer AARP discounts without having a age restriction as well. Everyone assumes you have to be 60 plus to join AARP so they don't expect a 20 or 30 something year old taking advantage of the 4 to 5 pm AARP dinner special. I worked at a pizza place and I ended up in the newspaper because we did a parade. I received a letter from someone telling me to seek Jesus and that the pizza place was evil. Pills, thousands of pills. It was supposed to be scrapbook supplies, but there was a mistake at the sorting facility and a bunch of boxes got destroyed. A new employee, instead of admitting to their supervisor what had happened, just threw the stuff and new boxes and copied the shipping labels and sent it on its way. There was official note on the box explaining that the box had been damaged in shipping and they had to replace it. Please contact them if the contents are in any way damaged. I mean, the pills were in good shape. I just didn't want to have that kind of possession charge. Local post office didn't believe me, so I brought the whole box into them. I like to imagine that there was a pharmacy out that that was like. I didn't order any dinosaur stickers, but they're mine now. Another time I ordered a laptop and it arrived WTH a bullet in it. I insisted on opening it before I accepted the delivery because I saw the hole on the outside of the box. The police came and collected it. Apparently there was a shooting at the sorting facility but they hadn't recovered any bullets. I was the first one to find one, and because there was an unbroken chain of evidence they were able to use it in the trial. It was a huge hassle to get a new laptop, though, no one wanted to admit that they had to pay for it. Well, you got a laptop and a free bullet, if anything, they should have charged you for the bullet. If you do get another laptop, don't expect it to have another bullet, that was a limited time promotion. A dead snail. 2008. Army boot camp. We were getting our mail and one of the guys in my squad got a thick tan envelope. Those padded types. So the drill SGT has to watch you open anything thick to make sure you aren't sneaking contraband. Usually food candy. Inside is a putrid smell. A dead snail. And a note. Went something like this. Hey. Bob. Hope boot camp is going well. 
We sent you a friend. His name is Steve. He was alive when we sent this. No signature or return address. WTF. We all just sat there. Even the drill SGT was speechless. Nothing ever came after this. No explanation. No follow up. Nothing. We went through the rest of boot camp with a mix of dark humor and confusion about the incident. Little snail mail. Bag of weed. When I lived in a student flat many years ago, it was for the previous tenants, also students, who had moved out at least 8 months before. There was a note in shaky handwriting, saying how much they missed the former occupants and wanted them to have a smoke on them. Not wanting to attract the attention of John I. I. Law, me and my flatmates disposed of these dangerous narcotics by I setting them on fire. I received a box of literally thousands of coupons for a free Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit sent by some corporate place in Florida. I have no ties to Chick-fil-A at all so I was clueless as to why I was shipped a 5 lifetime supply of chicken biscuits. There is a street in our city that is notorious for homeless people to hang out at and beg for food and money, so I just took the box up there and gave it to them to share. You're like Chick-fil-A Jesus. STD learning material. It was addressed to a guy with the same name as me, and who lived right down the street. Turned out he was a registered sex offender. To make a long story short, I moved. I was wondering why I never received my pamphlets. A pickle. It had a stamp on it and my address written on the side. I received a random parcel in the mail once. I don't remember ordering anything so I thought I might have just ordered it when I was drunk. I opened it up and it was a boaty. Strange. Checked my eBay history. Nothing. Anyway, at this point I was talking to a girl online who lived a long way from me. We were just bullshitting online and I mentioned this parcel that I got. She then told me that she had ordered it for me because she wanted to see me wearing nothing but a boaty. I had never given her my address. A couple years back I was up late watching random TV and an Arby's commercial came on talking about slow cooked meats and how we can get a free DVD of meat cooking slowly in its entirety. I thought it was hilarious so stoned me goes to the website and lo and behold it's a real site and I can really order this thing. So I order it and completely forget about it. Fast forward a couple months later and I receive a small box in the mail. I'm extremely confused because I don't often order things online. I open it up and absolutely lost my crap. It's a multi-DVD set of different meat slow cooking. I think it was something stupid like 22 hours of meat cooking footage. It's literally a camera videotaping brisket cooking for 12 hours. I still haven't opened it. When you throw parties you should play this the entire time. A maternity gown. I'm a 27 year old male. We got a pack of thank you notes. Didn't know who they were from or why we got them until we checked one of online store accounts a few days later to see an unauthorized purchase of a cell phone and a package of thank you cards. Well played. A shat. Well played. I got a potato in the mail that had your evicted, your landlord written in marker on it. But, I own my house and have no landlord. The mystery isn't solved. My friend had a pic of a potato as her Facebook profile picture. I mailed her a potato with the words hello mother, I've come home, written on it. She was very confused. One time my dad received a black box in the mail about the size of a book. He seemed excited since he wasn't expecting a package. I didn't see him open it but about a half hour later he was pretty angry at me and he wouldn't say why. I assumed it was about the package. He must have either been disappointed in the contents or it contained something personal. He didn't talk to me the rest of the day. I ordered an adult dial per sample pack in his name two weeks earlier. Just sent a trial pack to my roommate. Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack on vinyl with a Steel Panther CD and a whistle. No idea where it came from. My sneakers were worn out and I hadn't written my sister in a while, so I laundered one. I'm not evil, and addressed it on the sole and a fixed postage. No box. She found it in her mailbox. Just this worn out but clean Nike on top of her mail. She figured it was a neighborhood kid until she happened to see the sole. I never received cool mail like that. When I was a teenager in the early 90s, before the days of the internet, I signed up for a pen pull through a magazine. I got cool letters from all over the world for a while, but eventually I only got letters from Ghana. Lots of them. Multiple letters per day for over a year. 
So many that the mail carrier asked my mom why I got so many letters from Ghana. No letter in particular was all that weird, they were mostly asking me to send them a dollar or a Walkman or something, but the experience in general was pretty strange. My dad decided I must be some sort of Ghanan celebrity. After moving into my first apartment I got a random package on my front doorstep with no labels on it. I brought it inside and opened it and there was a mannequin head inside with black X's drawn over the eyes. There was no note or anything. I still don't know who left it or why but that was a year ago. It really freaked me out for a while. When I was around 10 I was at summer camp and I got a package from my grandpa. Now this particular summer camp had a strict no candy in the cabins policy so we had to open our package in front of our counselors. I opened to find my grandpa had sent me a brand new Garmin GPS system. I had no idea why until I opened the letter which said in big letters at the top be careful when you make your escape there are copperheads in the grass the whole letter that followed was various instructions on how to sneak away from camp in the night and how to use the GPS to find my way home. The counselors were pretty concerned. When I received my acceptance to the University of Oregon, included in the packet was a hand-drawn picture of a naked woman that just said college. Of course you would. I didn't receive anything like that for being accepted to Oregon State. Lame. I got the letter, mailed from Egypt, at my university address, which was a brochure to encourage me to explore Islam. This might have made sense if I was in a philosophy or religious studies department, but I work in a computer science department, in California. I have a Hispanic name. I have no idea why they thought I was a prospect worth international mail for this. A delusional conspiracy theorist looked up every employee at my employer. 5,000 employees. We have a public directory, and wrote a personally addressed letter to each of us talking about how our bosses were part of a murderous Satan, worshipping conspiracy and begging for help in defeating them from the inside. I would have sent that letter to everyone except for one employee. Bees via FedEx. My mom forgot to log out of my Amazon account before ordering for herself, so I was very shocked when I opened a very large, and extremely expensive, pink, Sparkly vibe addressed to me. I hid it underneath her pillow because she wasn't home and my dad found it before she got the chance to. I stayed at a friend's house the next few nights. When I was in college, I realized I really needed a TI-83 calculator for my math class. So, I called my mom and asked her to send me one. Because I didn't have any money, I had to keep borrowing my friends and using Google on my homework and crap. Until the next week I finally got a package in the mail. Thank god. It was a lot bigger than I'd thought it would be. But who cares. I could finally do my work without inconveniencing either others or myself. I opened the package. And there was no calculator. There was a builder bear A builder bear Wolf. To be exact. My old sweet mates still joke about that freak out. And it's been almost 10 years. Pantyhose. I had some identity theft and they used my credit card and sent me pantyhose, my grandma some supplement pills, and mailed something through UPS that was seized by the D. I'm still baffled by that one. You've been spotted by the curious cow. Comment below and let him know what you're doing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.